our next guest. Uh, uh, you you may have seen him, uh, you know, uh, bouncing around in uh, with LA Galaxy a little bit. Box to box, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay. Maybe also the Chicago Fire. I... Uh, just an absolute legend. Uh, just an important figure in Major League Soccer. Please introduce our guest, Alexis. I mean, I, mean, I, I just I, I can't believe he's here, okay? <laughs> I don't know why. Why are you even driving? This is too exciting. So pull over <laughs> so you can put both your hands together for the one, the only, our designated player, <laughs> Mike McGee, everybody. Hey! <laughs> Hey, Michael. Well, first of all, I, I love Paul Tenorio too. So <laughs> yeah. like, Look at that. This guy is it's a tough act to follow. This show ain't about Paul. <laughs> <laughs> it's about us. Uh, Mike McGee, this is wild. We're I, I, absolutely thrilled that you yeah. are in this room. I'm uh, excited. This is my first time meeting you. You hung out with Alexis yeah. in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Which is where you meet all MLS <laughs> <laughs> big name players <laughs> in Grand oh, Rapids. How did we both get hoodwinked into going to Grand Rapids, I, Michigan? I, I have no clue what happened there. Kyle Martino just <laughs> threw, threw some kind of spell on us. And I, I woke up and somehow I was in an Uber. And yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. You drove from Chicago. You took an Uber from Chicago to Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah, Is that a three-hour Uber? I have no idea. I slept <laughs> the, the night before. You did sleep I'm gonna, I'm, the, gonna, I'm gonna humble brag right now. The night yeah. before, I got inducted in the Chicago Sports Hall of Fame. Wow! So, so I, okay. I slipped that in there. So <laughs> and, and you said, "What do you do?" And you said, "Instead of going to Disney World, I'm going to Grand Rapids." <laughs> so, so, so as you can imagine, um, I told him I couldn't make it, couldn't drive. He's, like, "What if I called you an Uber?" I'm like, "I'll, I'll at least some Man. part of me will show up." So. I, I slept most of it. He's not making this up. I remember the phone calls. They're like, you know what? If he flies, it's about the same, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you're not thinking about putting Mike McGee. <laughs> you remember the bags yeah. under my eyes? Is what, like, what you meant to say? You can't possibly. And they're like, don't worry. He's going to sleep. <laughs> and I'm like, well, this driver is going to be like, you're doing what? When, he, when that came to the app, he was like, this seems broken. Oh. <laughs> hey, just put him in the trunk. He'll be fine. Oh. I remember I got a phone call from Cal Martino, and he was like, I had sort of... And just kind so of, people know, this was for the Over Under the over initiative. Under initiative. There was an event. Yep. Yeah. But there was an event here in New York where it was, you know, he had two microphones and no one was really taking control of the second mic. So I just picked it up and started talking into it and I took control of the whole event. <laughs> and I apologized to everyone afterwards. <laughs> but he called me and he's like, hey, you want to host an event for real? As opposed mm -hmm. to just stealing someone's microphone? <laughs> I was like, yeah. And he goes, all right, are you available on this day? I go, yeah. He goes, so you're committing to it. You can do it. And I was like, yeah, absolutely. Where is it? He's like, you're going to Grand Rapids, Michigan. <laughs> and he hung up. <laughs> That's how. And I'm not kidding. An email came up the next day with tickets to Grand Rapids, Michigan. You got pranked. Yeah. Dude, I was like, when you grabbed the mic, I'm not going to lie, I had no faith in you. I'm like, you, you, all of a sudden, you were, you had me dying laughing the Thank entire you. time. Look at that. In, Look the at that. in the beginning, I was kind of like, what's going on here? Like, I thought I was here for the kids. And all of a sudden, he's cracking jokes. And Everybody I didn't want to laugh. And then all of a sudden, I'm for you. Mike you, McGee, you, you got me. Alexis's wife, <laughs> has no faith, no faith in it. <laughs> My mother, no come, one. To so. come in. <laughs> but wait. Here's the change. He now believes in me. I do. So most people do. just continue to disbelieve. <laughs> now we've got to someone turn. Uh, Mike, we should uh, at least start with, uh, I mean, huge fans of you. I mean, as as uh, when I started watching MLS and going to MLS games, I remember going to Metro Stars games, um, uh, early New York Red Bulls. You were the, the, that figure. You were one of these guys. I'm like, all right. Somebody, this guy, he seems a little bit better than everybody else. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's what, balling out of here. <laughs> what has, uh, oh, I, I guess my first question is, what do you think of the league now? Do you almost wish that you were playing in it now with all these incredible clubs and, and giant, giant fan bases? It's incredible how far the league's come. I think especially since the year Beck's got here, each year you could see, a, see it going up in the last five, six years. Um, an insane amount. Uh, the, the pay makes me want to be, be okay. playing right yeah, now. I see it. My, my, my hip... Uh, tells me it's time to retire but um it, it's been really fun to watch the league and the metro stars are a good pull yeah it's a really dude. good pull that's good <laughs> respect you, you texted some of the other older guys like yo you know we would have been tan <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. You, talk, you talk so much shit yeah. <laughs> these guys are soft yeah, and spoiled yeah. <laughs> oh four I'm the, I'm the charter flights <laughs> well la -di -da. they're complaining oh. about it you like four <laughs> Yeah. I used to fly yeah. with one of the rookies on my lap. <laughs> not, not that far from the truth. <laughs> it's, it, yeah, it is uh, incredibly impressive, and uh, it, it's like now, and you, and you're obviously a Chicago native, uh, uh, and and obviously played for the you Chicago. You can hear Fire. the accent. Are you? I, I mean, are you? Are you? He's definitely our first MVP. Have we had another MVP on? 
Um, Besides me, no. Okay. I mean, this is it. Okay, I'm glad we, yeah. I'm glad we uh, <laughs> sorted that out. <laughs> but even you mentioning uh, being a part of the Chicago uh, Hall of Fame, like what did that mean to you to be uh, recognized uh, to that degree? Uh, it's cool, man, especially since I, I, mean, I stopped playing in 2016, and then you notice that no one, no one really cares about you anymore. So two years removed or whatever it was, then getting a reward, it's, it's cool. You think you're just done and yeah, <laughs> you're yeah. forgotten about, um, especially in your hometown. And my, my family was there and friends, so it was... It was cool, and I, we, we obviously celebrated that night, and that's, that's when, we, when we met. <laughs> you should have seen how he showed up to Grand Rapids. Yeah, no one sleeps in an Uber to Grand Rapids. I, 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 I had a night. huge bag, and everyone's like, dude, you're coming for one day. I'm like, dude, it's a pillow and a blanket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's chill. <laughs> so I slept the whole way. Uh, we got more when we get back. Oh. That's right, baby. We back with Mike McGee. Mike, now you watching, you know, so much happening in MLS. It's incredible, like all the different changes. When you think back to when you started and a rookie coming in now, like if you could talk to the rookies coming in this season, like what would you say the difference is between when you started and what they, oh, what I mean, they got? I don't even know where to start. Um, <laughs> you know, not taking it for granted. You know, when you yeah. mentioned the Metro Stars, I remember back in those days, and we had like 13 rookies and – and you know we used to not see the importance of or where the sport was growing. So we might have we might have celebrated life outside of soccer a little too much, and maybe not taken as seriously as we, we probably could have. But that and it's you know it's over in a blink of an eye. I mean, it's, yeah. you know I played 14 years, and when the day the day it ended, I you know seemed like it was it was three years. So yeah, um, wow. So it, it happens to you quickly, <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> you uh, one of my favorite things that and uh, what happens in in soccer Twitter, especially American soccer Twitter, is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, goal, goal keep players that be, have to g go and goal, and you yours always comes up. It's probably about three, four times a year. Somebody will post it, and it I will watch go. this game live. Okay, good, it's great. I mean, I wasn't there. I was watching it on TV, but I remember yeah. watching like who. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had no Josh, offense, but you I had, were the shortest dude on the field. I had, I had Josh Saunders yeah. jersey on looked like a skirt, and yeah. Donovan Ricketts gloves. They were the first save I made. The entire glove flipped all the way around. Yeah, that's so was, hilarious. And so most people. So if people do not know, this was uh, this was the June twenty fifth, two thousand eleven. You were so, with uh, LA Galaxy. Yep. And yeah. it was versus uh, the, the uh, California uh, Classical. It was yeah, against the uh, Smurfs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Shot still fired. <laughs> uh, and yeah, like you said, yeah, Donovan Ricketts was injured, and then Josh uh, Saunders got a red card. But that was yeah. the same game that Len uh, Lenart yeah. uh, headed the ball out of. And I said this to you in person. I remember he was running behind Josh Saunders, and I go, "You know, it'd be cool if he headed the ball because you can't touch with your hands." Adam, and then he did it. I'm like, I might be too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I wish money would fall from the sky. I swear on my life, I had that thought. And then he does it. And for some reason, they didn't give him a red card. You're not allowed to do that. But I think he got into a scuffle, and that's how Saunders gets I think gets Josh might have elbowed him a little bit, and he, he might have made a meal of it. But yeah. Yeah, the, ref, the ref wasn't with us that day. Yeah, no, Lennart was, uh, was one of those beasts. He could just flop anytime he wanted. It was great. And then all of a sudden, there's no backup. Like, you can't put another one in because it was... Uh, what was who was the first goalkeeper? Uh, Donovan Ricketts. Ricketts. And then all of a sudden, it was uh, Josh Saunders is out. So they're like, there was like a 30 second pause of people trying to decide what happens. What happened in that moment? How did you get the so call? I was looking at the clock and it was like 36th minute or something. And uh, I'm thinking, shit, I, I want to play goalie. Oh my God, this, I'll make it to half. I think I can make it nine minutes. Or yeah, yeah. Whatever it was. And I'm, and I'm playing left mid, so I'm next to Bruce. I'm like, Bruce, what, who's going to play goalie? And he goes, You think I fucking know? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, all right, that's me. <laughs> so, I, so, so I walk back, like I'm relaying the message to the team, and I was like, what are we doing? He's so like, Bruce said I'm going in. He said, it, Bruce, yeah, yeah. Bruce said it's me. <laughs> and then I remember at halftime, I'm sitting there at halftime, and now I'm thinking, all right, did my job, got in, taking the gloves off. You gave no goals up. No goals, yeah. yeah. Well, and no, you were down a man. We're down a man. So at halftime, I'm thinking, I, I'm going to get to go back out, or I'm going to go back on the field. Bruce has got some master plan. Yeah. And I remember it dawned on me. He's like, dude, we can't even let him shoot because they're going to score on McGee. And I'm like, wait, I got to go back, <laughs> yeah, back yeah. out there? You're like, what you so, mean, Gunna? <laughs> <laughs> well, so does Gunna. I keep okay, this team talk ain't going the way I planned. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, <laughs> you're so, in the showers. You're like, I thought I was. <laughs> so luckily it worked out, and I'll chalk that up to another thing. that at, While I was playing, I, I hated it. It was just the only thing, ever think, or the only thing people, people spoke about, but now it's. 
now it's cool getting to relive those. those yeah. Days. But I mean, as a, as you played goalie like as a kid though, you said right. Uh-uh. Never. Never. You just your first time ever playing goalkeeper was yeah. in that moment. No. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Great play. Bruce is yeah. a genius. I'm starting to see what happened in Trinidad and Tobago. To be wow. completely, <laughs> completely honest with you. Oh, I can't oh that's laugh gonna at be that. clipped out just I so can't you know. Laugh at that. <laughs> you don't call. He doesn't call on what I just said. But when as a, as as players. Like these players that are running towards you with the ball. What's going through your head? I had zero respect for goalies up until up until the first cross came in. And then yeah. there's actually one that keeps showing up on the on the highlight tape where I kind of I'm gonna catch it and I'm, it's an easy cross. At the last second, I just kind of push it into the <laughs> middle of the field. And it's the only one I wish they'd removed from the highlight tape. Yeah. You'll, you'll know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. Somebody crosses it and I I, it, I hit it just into traffic. Just push it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The last second. You're like, get it out of here. Put it in this net. Dude, I got me. Omar Gonzalez is running at me. My own guys. It's, yeah, so I, I got a newfound respect for goalies after, after that day, for yeah, sure. Yeah, but they must have been uh, incredibly, your teammates must have been uh, proud of you after. Uh, it was it was incredible. I mean, they, the way they rallied, and I, you know, it w- was bizarre. Greg Berhalter and AJ, and it, it was kind of the turning point in our season. But the way they played, I might have made one good save at the end there, but the way they played, blocking shots and running around, and those guys must have gotten four days off that week because they were, they were all dead. And yeah, I, and, I'm and sure. It, and I get all the credit for it, and I, and I take it. I'll, t- <laughs> I'll, t- I'll take the credit for those like, guys. You're like, it's because of me, boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys won MLS Cup that year it, as well. It, it I mean, was, this must have been like something that you know kind of motivated you guys. It was. It, we we celebrated again. Seems like I celebrate a lot, right? That's <laughs> all <laughs> so we're talking about. Which is good segue. Which good segue. <laughs> <laughs> good segue into what I did after soccer. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what are we talking about now? You won about, MLS Cup. And you won MLS Cup. It, and and it, that that night, we we all went out and, and had a blast. The only time I left, I celebrated a tie, and, and we there was definitely a turning point in a, in a way. The group came together, and we, we won MLS, MLS Cup. So that was. Was there was a part cool. of you that was like Bruce put me in for the end of MLS Cup? <laughs> <laughs> put me in goal for the Absolutely, end of it. Never again. <laughs> the, the amount of time somebody will ask me to go and go never in practice, never. I will, I will not do You've it. You got to do it in a pickup game. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> we got more with Mike when we get back. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what a late, what an audible. I, I, Very I late. That. <laughs> We're so smooth here. <laughs> I think clearly, that's a false start. Or <laughs> Somebody threw a flag. <laughs> Welcome back. Yes, we have. Uh, there's a box here uh, that we should we should address, Alexis. Absolutely. Now, uh, this this you you sent us this. I did. We've yeah. never done an unboxing with the. Unboxy here. <laughs> exactly. And he, he, he didn't even bring it with him because no. he just got off of a plane. Uh, but no, he brought uh, set, he had the box set, sent here. Which, you know, I've always wanted to do with my luggage. When you fly somewhere, just mail it first so you don't have to bring anything with you to the airport. <laughs> Alexis <laughs> did tell me either bring it or don't even don't even show up. So <laughs> yeah. I, okay. <laughs> Maybe that happened. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Okay, you want to put that box away? Yeah, yeah, let's get rid of it. Okay. Uh, this is, whoa, Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, boom. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, uh, yes. What are we looking at here? Sneaky Fox. Terrible <laughs> logo uh, label for the TV because it's all reflective. <laughs> but it says Sneaky Fox vodka. Uh, Gluten-free. Just for you, yeah. Okay. <laughs> for all the basic out there. <laughs> yeah, it's really important to Alexis. Can we try? Uh, I mean, we have glasses here, yes, so we're going to try. Can you tell us? So Mike McGee, uh, tell us about Sneaky Fox vodka a little bit. Oh, um, my brand. It's vodka. Gluten-free. This is yours. Yes. It, is, it is mine. Um, no, it, it's some. Something, it's some something I did while I was playing. I started looking into the spirits industry. We're going to do a whiskey. Omar Gonzalez, Landon Donovan, and I. We take our win bonuses and we buy like Johnny Walker, Louis the Thirteenth, too expensive of stuff, and then we we'd only drink it after wins. So as my so cri- far we know there's bonuses, right? There's a lot <laughs> we don't know about MLS. They grew about. since I since I played. Um, so when I got done playing, I wanted to make a small batch whiskey or bourbon. Um, and obviously pivoted to, to doing something a little bigger and, and yeah. kind of running with it. This is, uh, yeah, this is incredible. I haven't tried it yet. I, I hear it, uh, about it all the time, especially uh, especially in Chicago, because we, I, honestly, whenever Could we're in Chicago. Could this become the thing instead of Malort? Yeah, that's what we always <laughs> we hear. we make Sneaky Fox <laughs> the <laughs> thing you make people that aren't Those from are Chicago Those are the two shoot. things we always hear about. What, what, what are your thoughts on Malort? 
Oh man, it's a Chicago Staples, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like it sucks. It's your disgusting. Your pizza stinks. Your booze it's, stinks. It, it sucks. It's disgusting. Why is Chicago? But I, 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 lo I love it. I have to, you know, you have, have to say that. Yeah. You have to say that. <laughs> you felt me. You felt me having to say it there. Like, I know you don't uh, like it. No one likes it. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part about my lord, as soon as you take the shot, everyone who told you to take the shot goes, "It's terrible, right? <laughs> Why are you making me do this?" <laughs> well, think, cheers. Thank yeah. you for uh, sending us a bottle. What an honor. Here, I'll put the... Yeah, let's do it. Cheers to Sneaky Fox. All right. What should we be tasting? Notes of paint thinner. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. I, you, you guys, well, that, that's I'm actually not really mad great enough vodka. for you, this you guys, beverage. You guys might appreciate the, the, way, the reason I named it. So first time I ever drank, we'll say I was 18 for for all the kids out there. Okay, yes, yeah, still Wait, not still the legal age. <laughs> what are you from Montreal? Well, well, uh, you'll, you'll know you'll know the rest now. So my, my, my dad caught me. My dad's a big dude. He's like six four. Anyways, he catches me and uh, you know he calls me a sneaky fuck and then, yeah. and, then, and, then and then beat and then beat the shit out of me. So wait, I, so uh, you drank his booze? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. so yeah, that's yeah. my oldest memory of drinking. I think that the the beating I took inspired me to play some soccer and take off drinking for a while. So I've been this is my this is my <laughs> entry back. Okay, it's a great vodka, by the way. You can drink it on its own. And I guess we should probably come up with our own brand of vodka from our first memory of drinking. So instead of Sneaky Fox, I'll go with Coño Tu Madre Pendejo Fox. Okay, it reminds me of my mother. Oh, my mom. She's not dead. Just, I don't know why I need that. The nostalgia. Yeah. Pero que coño I, vodka. Mike, I did have, we had a question from one of our Gully Squad members. So these are like our more devoted fans. And it, this is a very specific thing. I, and I'm curious if you remember this. So this was a uh, uh, U.S. Open Cup match in 2014 against the Atlanta Silverbacks. Robin Seguini, she asked, um, do you remember us uh, kind of teasing you and saying mine, 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 like in Finding Nemo, but they were saying Mike, 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 and then uh, the, and she remembered she thinks you got red carded soon after. Do you remember this? I don't remember the Mike, 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 but that was that was the funniest red card of my life. <laughs> what, what happened, happened? We, I, dude? I don't even know. We, we we me and another guy came in close. And we both kind of leaned our heads in, and at the same time did the fake, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and he gave us both the red card. Whoa! But the best part was, as I get back in the mic here, the best part was, is even after it happened, we both kind of came together like, like, oh, my bad. Like, yeah, like yeah. as we're apologizing, red, red. In the, really? In the first half. Unbelievable. Now, it was on one of the worst fields I ever played on, so it was it was actually <laughs> maybe a little... little uh, kind of lucky, yeah. Kind of, kind of lucky, but... Um, That's that, uh, hilarious I, that you both <laughs> faked it so well that you both got red cards. It, it was bad. The ref, ref made a mistake, or, or we did. <laughs> yeah. One or the other, but we then we... The, what do you do, go for steak during the second half? Like, what do you and that guy do now? Uh, he was not happy with me. I, no? No. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know. We won the game and then lost the next week to Seattle. And I couldn't play, so that was that yeah, was, yeah. That, was a, that was a that was a big mistake. All right. All right. So remember looking back on things you're supposed to tell the, the young players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do don't, that. Don't, don't, okay. don't, right. don't headbutt <laughs> anybody in there. All right, we'll play we'll goalkeeper. <laughs> we'll be back with more Mike Mickey after this, guys. <laughs> Flip it. <laughs> That's right, baby. We're back. And oh, my God. Thank you so much, Mike McGee. Incredible, man. Thank uh, you. Absolute my honor. For real. And this isn't the sneaky fox booze talking. This is for real. <laughs> it means so much that you were, uh, that you were on, man. No, thanks for him. Yeah, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, make, sure you, uh, make sure you support Sneaky Fox Vodka. Uh, if Especially it's available. if you're in Chicago, right? Exactly. Uh, and, uh, you know, so support. Follow Mike McGee on all social channels. Follow us yeah. at Soccer Cooligans. And thank you to uh, Paul Tenorio for being on the show today. That's right. He was... He was incredible as well. We learned a lot. Uh, learned um, a lot about MLS contracts that we've already forgotten. Yes. Uh, Mike. <laughs> That's how confusing it is. <laughs> yes. If, you, if Mike was here during Paul's thing, he'd be like, okay, where does all this money come from? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Because I didn't see this no, when yeah. I was playing. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah. So, thank you, Mike. Did you have a good time? On I had the a blast. Show? Yeah. Honestly, uh, did. Incredible. So, I, and thank you, because I know you're in town for the MLS uh, kit reveal uh, event. So, it, it's an absolute honor that we got an MVP on the show. That's right. We bring the stars here. They come here. <laughs> 
come here first. <laughs> okay? And then we crash parties. That That's MLS right. We showing up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Delivery boxes dressed like UPS guys. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much uh, for tuning in. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, so for Mike McGee, my name is Christian Polanco. And I'm Alexis Guerrero. And together, what are we? The, the Cooligans! Cooligans!